So it's gonna pretty much wrap up our experience here with the Michelin Pilot Experience. Uh, you know, the PS4S tires were just unbelievable. The grip that we had throughout the entire day in the corners, in the autocross, and the braking on the street. Um, you know, I've never really experienced anything like that before, and that was the first time I really got to aggressively drive tires. But what I really liked though was that they had us test the tires against other tires to see the difference. And oh my god, what is happening? This is a Chucky Beat production. You're listening to Retnik. So after a uh, very long day, man, now if you guys are following me on Twitter, uh, you would have known that I didn't exactly make it here on time and I, I could not believe that I missed it and I, I, I was so dejected. I missed my flight by literally two minutes, man. Oh. Cheers. But two minutes, man. I missed it by two minutes, and I, you know, I couldn't believe it. I was out of the house today at 4:30. I left to make my flight for seven. I got to the airport shuttle um, at six o'clock. We got to the airport at 6:15, and I went there. And she said, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to take the next flight out. And I told her, I was like, look, I need to be in Palm Springs by five o'clock. Um, is there anything that you can do for me? And she said, well, not really. You know, you're kind of late. Um, so I said, okay, well, when's the next flight out? And she said, not till 1.30. No joke, no lie. So I was, I was pretty upset. And she said to me, she goes, if you can make it, you can try. So I literally ran over, I cleared customs, I got a pass through the line, thankfully. Um, and I ran all the way to the gate to find out that they just closed it about two minutes before going to the gate, man. Two minutes, I could not believe it. and. I was so shook, like it was It was honestly surreal knowing that I was not gonna make it for the opening ceremony. And this was, you know, the biggest trip that I've ever went on. And, um, you know, it was, it, was, it was definitely heartbreaking to know that I missed it. And I, I sat there for six and a half hours, man, six and a half hours at the airport literally doing nothing, man. I probably sat there for like 45 minutes staring off into nothing. And uh, it, was, it was absolutely ridiculous, man, it was, I was so upset, I was, I was so just angry at myself for not getting there earlier. There was just so many things at play. And um, I gotta say though, getting here now though, everything is just, it's made up for it. You know, I try to just keep a cool head and just you know think, hey, you know, everything's starting tomorrow, we're gonna be okay. And you know, we, we were fine. And everything actually went into place because I got here and I had Chili and Anthony actually message me saying that Keanu Reeves was at the ceremonies, at the opening ceremonies that I missed 
David Patterson ended up meeting Keanu Reeves, and I was just like, holy shit, are you serious right now? Like, I love The Matrix, man, come on now. I was walking in, you know, I walked in late, I was, you know, super sorry about it, they're like, no, no, it's not a problem. The place is gorgeous, by the way. This is absolutely a ridiculous hotel. This whole place is, have you seen the balcony? So I was walking over to the dinner because I was about maybe two courses down already. And I walk into the dinner and I, no joke, I see Keanu Reeves off on the distance looking out with his friend. I don't know who he was, but he was with another person and they were just kind of chit-chatting and I'm walking by and I'm like, oh my God, if I don't say hi, I'm never going to get a chance to meet Keanu Reeves again. So um, I literally walked up and I was like, Keanu, and he's like, he's like hey, I, was like, you know, I shook his hand, I told him I loved his movies. And uh, that was really about it. And I, I, you know, I didn't want to push my luck. I didn't want to ask for a photo or anything like that. I felt like it was, you know, just an evasion of privacy at that point. You know, it was the lighting was terrible. It was dark out. So I just, you know, what I was, I was so happy with, you know, just a hello and a handshake and on with my night. And it was funny though because I was at dinner and he was actually sitting the table across from me eating dinner. And it's it's surreal to see, you know, an A-list movie star like that at the same table. It was absolutely ridiculous. Um, we have our name badges, which is right here. Oh my God, the beer almost dropped. Name badges right here. We're group yellow. And actually TJ Hunt is the exact same group. I was actually just in his room with Evan Shanks as well too. And uh, TJ snapped him, man. I saw the Snapchat. Evan came in and gave me a big hug. Super damn nice. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just I'm just pumped for the week ahead, man. I, it's just going to be a crazy damn journey tomorrow. I seen a Conan say, uh, it's just oh my god, I'm I'm pumped, and I really don't know what to expect. I don't know what to expect. I don't know what kind of cars are going to be out there, other than the Conan say and stuff like that. But it is going to be ridiculous. But the reason I wanted to do this tonight, Michelin hooked us up, man. We got a huge damn duffel bag, and it was funny because before I came to Cali. I wanted to get a bag exactly like this. I actually went shopping looking for, you know, a travel bag that was nice, it was classy. I don't know what this is. This is USA. I got some boots too. I see these actually in TJ room. I wasn't sure if we were all gonna get them. Did they get the right size? There's no way they got size 12, is there? They legit got me a size 12 in the boot. I don't even remember giving them my shoe size. Look at these boots, bro. Oh my God, they are ridiculous. They have a tread pattern like a damn tire on the bottom. Now, I feel because I, you know, I'm I am a Canadian. I feel like I'm gonna get the most use out of this boot. But I don't even know if I'm gonna wear these. To be completely honest with you, I'll probably just throw these in the office or something like that in the studio. But uh, these are absolutely dope, though, man. Michelin, thank you. Damn, what what else we got here? They hooked us up with sunscreen, aftershave, sunscreen again. Huge thank you. Is this chapstick right there? Is that chapstick in here? What else we got here? Oh, Under Armour be hooking us up though. Look at this. Oh, they gave me a damn extra large. I think I'm fat. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Short sleeve compression. I like it. All right, next up in our goodie bag. What do we got in here? It's like a damn dark hole. Uh, we have Under Armour. Is this, is this boxers? Damn box. Is this compression? It is damn compression boxes. Look at this shit. Ooh. Maybe we should have pulled that out first here. So welcome to the Michelin Pilot Experience. We hope you enjoyed your journey to Palm Springs. We're excited to share an adventure packed a couple of days with you. Allow us to introduce you to the UAS Fat Tire Boots and Racing Jacket. Built for the beyond ambitious exclusivity for this event. Lace it, zip up, and share on social with hashtag beyond ambitious, hashtag Michelin Pilot Experience, and at UAS enjoy team uas under armor sportswear that is dope so these are limited edition boots man you can't get those anywhere else with the compression shirt well probably get the compression shirt right? you know what I'm saying? but a jacket where's this jacket no they didn't did they oh yes this is sick okay we have our own pilot experience jacket right now. 
I love jackets, and I actually needed a nice little spring jacket, so this is gonna be beautiful. This is an Under Armour jacket as well, too. This is Under Armour. Are you kidding me right now? This is a nice jacket, man. This is limited edition. Genuine passion, exceptional drives. I see you, Michelin. What do we got? What the hell is this? Oh shit, it's a battery pack. That's dope. I cannot believe how much Michelin has put into this and Under Armour. Just a huge thank you for all of this gear. I mean, this is this is crazy, man. I mean, it's, you know, it's one thing we're standing here in the Ritz-Carlton Hotel. I mean, like, hold on. Let me just say this one more time for you guys in here. And the damn master bath. Like this, we are standing here in the Ritz-Carlton, man. Come on. I never thought in a million years I'd be sitting here, staying in the Ritz-Carlton. Like, look at this damn bathroom. You want to take a damn shit? There you go. You got a little glass door for it. I think that's going to pretty much do it uh, for tonight. I got to clean this up. Then I got an early morning tomorrow. I think it starts at around, I want to say, 6 o'clock for breakfast. So that's it's still early. I, I got to get, I probably, should probably get to sleep pretty damn soon. I'm going to clean it up. I'm going to finish off my second Heineken that I have waiting. And I think I'm going to call this a wrap for today. Huge thank you to Michelin for this entire trip. I mean, this is like, I mean, like look at, look at this shit. Look. All I can say is thank you, and it's only gonna get better, man. Tomorrow we're gonna be driving some damn supercars. We're gonna be driving some hypercars. Hopefully, hopefully the hypercars. I don't know if we're gonna be driving them or not, but I don't wanna say anything if, uh, you know, it's not 100%. But our day started off pretty shit, to be honest with you. Um, I, was, I was pretty bummed out, but, you know, being here, in the Ritz, meeting Keanu Reeves, being greeted by Michelin and the hospitality that everybody has shown here, meeting everybody else that you know I've talked to on Xbox, um, it definitely made this trip 110% worth it. And I, I mean, like I said, I'm excited for the next day, and I'm just, I, I just want to wake up and go to breakfast is what I want to do. So I'm gonna finish off this beer, I'm gonna finish off that second beer, and then we're gonna go to sleep, man. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching once again. Cheers. Good morning guys, good morning. Head all the way up to the top, we're gonna chat about what we're about to do. You got it. Three weeks. Yeah. Wow. Absolutely gorgeous. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Holy shit. Um, so, the way it's going to go down today, we've got six sections of driving. The first three are going to be a little bit slower because uh, we will go through some towns to get to Joshua Tree. It's unavoidable. But it's by design so you guys can just get acclimated to the cars you're in. Um, we're going to fall into a formation. We have three cars in each section. We have four sections. So there's a Ferrari, an R8, an AMG C63 in each section. Obviously, we have Silas Ford 4S on every car. Um, just go ahead and pick a car, but you'll stay in that group of those three cars. I have four sections of those three cars. Um, so everybody has the same types of cars. Six stops, so at each stop, we'll let you know if it's a driver change. So that means your buddy in the front seat will then switch places with you, or a car rotation. I want to drop the second, I just want to make sure this goes are you good? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Ready? Yeah. Countdown. No countdown. <laughs> drive modes. All of these cars have different drive modes, comfort, sport, uh, race mode in some of the cars, which is pretty fun. Um, we ask that you uh, you don't take the TC off. Again, this is this is street roads. While uh, we do have the CHP, and that kind of can make us feel a little bit invincible, um, we are invincible. Uh, so uh, we want to try to keep anything bad from happening. 
Um, so, uh, but by all means, play with those drive modes. Uh, you will have uh, plenty of opportunity at the track later. I would say less than six minutes. So now with that, I'll give it back to Ryan, and he can uh, send you guys on your way. All right. Pick your cars. So, pick a buddy. Pick a